All right, I want to thank you for tuning in the video today. Today we're going to talk about the power stop brake pads on the Ford Super Duty, okay? I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not affiliated with them. I just purchased the product. I wanted to see how they did. A couple weeks ago, I went on the Super Duty forums and I asked y'all, you know, what's your thoughts on the power stop, you know, the Z36 kit? Um, what was actually, I love the Ford brakes. They felt really good. The stopping power was really good. And, uh, you know, there was no vibrations, nothing like that. It just, the, the, the brake dust was horrible, you know? And I guess some people can just buy the pads and not change the rotors, but just want to tell y'all, I bought the Z36. I think mine are the um, truck and tow, uh, the extreme carbon fiber brake pads, okay? Um, so in today's video, I just kind of want to tell you the differences, right? How, how do they feel in compared to the Ford? Because what I can tell you is I wanted to wait until I actually did a towing trip pull in the RV before I gave an honest review on them, right? Because, you know, anybody can put them on their truck I and mean, pull a little boat or something like that and say, oh yeah, you know, a little better, um, no brake dust, but I want something, you know, you're pulling a 43 foot camper. And that's what I was really searching for in the group was, I want to know how these things do with some serious weight on them, you know? And if you have to really get in the brakes, how do they feel compared to stock brakes, right? And so I'm gonna try to cover that in the video today. One of the things I will tell you is I just did about 550 miles with my RV. Um, and then I drove it about 500 miles before that, just regular everyday truck driving. Now, when you install the Z36, there is a break-in thing that you need to do. And installation is very important. It tells you where to put, there's a little packet that comes, uh, power stop lube in there. It tells you where to put those, put those on the pad, where, you know, and all that stuff. Now, my hardware is new because I have a new truck. So I kept all my Ford hardware, just used the pads and the rotors. Now, on the box, when you open it, you're going to see... It's got some break in and you've got to do these things five aggressive decelerations from 40 to 10 five moderate from 35 to 5 and then you've got to drive slowly to cool them down for five minutes now in that time period you do not want to push on the brakes you just want to let it coast right you don't want to make any impressions on the rotors once they've got warmed up i did those and guys the brakes have been great okay um sorry i'm closing this box up real quick um so now let's talk about uh, let me let me show them to you real quick so you can kind of get a look okay these are the ford limited wheels i'm running 37s and you can see the slotted rotors in there and this is the difference i mean this is still old brake dust from before but like i haven't done anything with this and there's there's no brake dust and my tires are actually black before they were basically just covered in brown dust um so i'm very impressed as far as getting rid of the brake dust it did that job now we're going to talk about the performance on the on the brakes and the pads um did i notice a little bit of difference when i put them on i would say yes um and i guess the difference is if you're if you're if you're just lightly pressing on the brake pads it's it feels about the same as the ford pads i guess um but I will say when you get into the brakes, you know, you've got to do a little more heavy braking. I can definitely feel a little bit better performance out of it whenever I'm getting into the brakes, okay? So towing, I would say the same thing. When I had my camper on there, you know, light touching on the brakes, it feels about like the stock pad. It's pretty close to the same, but when I had to really like, you know, get down, somebody stopped in front of me or something like that, I felt pretty confident that I could stop the truck and trailer pretty good. So I would say it did give me a little bit better feeling and a little bit more confidence. So I'm not scared of the ceramic pads and the, the thought of, did I lose some stopping distance or any of that thing? No, I, I don't think that's the case. I think with the slotted rotors and that, you know, now I did go with the slotted rotors and the pads, you know, maybe if you do just one, maybe you may not get the same result. Um, but so far, absolutely love how they tow, how they break all those things um and when you go to the power stop site you're just gonna have to go in there and put the 22 in and you know just be sure if you get the f-350 that you you know you've got the the heavy duty axle or you've got the standard axle you need to make sure you get that right for the rotors so anyway but absolutely love the brakes i would not go back to the ford brakes after towing with these um we're gonna see how longevity is but so far so good no brake dust all the things that i wanted has happened with these power stop pads if you got any questions below just drop them i'll try to answer them for you but anyway thanks for watching if the video helped you please hit that like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video